Hello, hello, hello. Good, good afternoon. <laughs> I tried to do a live this morning and I, I thought I was doing pretty good, but I don't know what happened to it. Uh, I just don't know. <laughs> I'll probably turn, it probably show up somewhere. I don't know where, but I went to YouTube and I thought, well, maybe it was uploading and it said it was uploading and then it just vanished so I've decided that I would just make my regular because live isn't working for me even though I had fun I talked to Daniel and to Rita and uh and mom and her four boys and Kelsey Kelsey was on there and I enjoyed that it was hard to keep up with the uh the comments I couldn't see them very well and then they would go away so I'm still having to learn live but that, as far as it's concerned I'm sorry uh, I just tried it as wild hair this morning but right now I want to read uh, I read these this morning but we're going to start like it's a whole new day <laughs> and the first one is from Bonnie Myers good morning Bonnie is the profile I'm talking about is on Facebook. Oh, well, I'll have to look. Oh, I did look. But I think I spelled your name wrong. I think I spelled it M-E-Y-E-R-S. That's probably why I couldn't find it. But I will. I'll check it out, Bonnie. And I hope that you're doing well this morning. And here's Dylan. Hey, Dylan, how are you doing? I know this is a repeat. Didn't we talk this morning? I think we did. And this is HBY means how about you? Now, see, I learned something new again today. How about you? HBY. It's supposed to storm tonight in South Dakota. And yes, I can. Yes, you can do anything you want to do. But South Dakota, it must be awfully cold. Are you isolated up there? Or are you in a town or... Uh, you have lots of snow? <laughs> you don't want to talk about it? <laughs> well, we've had rain most of the day, and the high today so far has been 50 here in Arkansas. But they said there was ice nor north of me a couple of hours. So I guess we're not going to get that cold, but who knows? Who knows what's going to go on? Here's Joy Bird. Joy Bird. Hey, Joy Bird. I love meatloaf, too. I do, too. <laughs> Joy Bird. I watch the Hillbilly Kitchen a lot. Oh, I like her. I like her. Yes, I do, Joy Bird. She does a lot of the old-fashioned uh, recipes. I don't think I could handle that toy. <laughs> you have. That would get on my nerves. Well, it's doing that to me, too, believe it or not. My voice were younger they got the writing toys you know with the crackers on them I made sure they'd take them off before they got those toys too much noise well I understand Joy Bird I was never one to listen to music in the car either if the radio was on it was on a word radio a news channel and then it was turned down to <laughs> Damn low. <laughs> well, those are the comments this morning or today. And I've already been out. And my sister took me this morning. And I cleaned my closet out. So I'd put some, um, some clothes that I could no longer wear. Or, you know, I just get too many clothes. So I gave it to a, a place that donates. I think it's the Dorcas House for unmarried women and you know help out with their situation and and they sell the stuff so 
I, I, on the way home, I told my sister, you know, I, I said, maybe one of those tops I need to go buy it back. <laughs> she said she had heard of people doing that, donated, and then going back and buying it back. <laughs> oh, well, that's the way it goes sometimes, isn't it? <laughs> well, I've been crocheting little things as I... <laughs> a little hot plate, which I, I will probably use this as a, for my coffee, coffee cup, because I already got the chicken, and now I've got this, it's just a, just a little crocheted piece, granny, well, it's a granny, what is that called, six points, I don't know, but anyway, that one, and you saw this one, this is the magical pot holder, I've seen, shown that before, but this one here, guess what that is? Can you tell what that is? If you can tell or not. Well, it, it, I just started using this yarn, this cotton yarn, and thought, well, I'll just make something. Well, I made the outline of a Santa Claus, see? <laughs> yeah, I may have to put some Santa Claus clothes on him. I don't know. But he's a little different, isn't he? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'll hang him on a tree. I don't know what I'll... Might, maybe I'll put him on a sweatshirt. <laughs> it's like, just fun. You know, sometimes you just want to crochet for fun. And then I made this this morning. And it's funny how I did this one this morning. I, I started out with seven... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven stitches. Chain, uh, chain seven. And then I just went around it and around it like we had that Mexican uh, hot plates that we made. You know, the one like this that's doubled. But instead, I made it into a little boot because I had only a few stitches. So I just kept going around and around until I got to where I wanted to indent it so it looked like a little boot. Can you see? There you go. And then I just kept going up and up and up and up. And then I made a little thing like this if I want. You know, where it looks like a little shoe boot. A boot is what it's supposed to look at. I figure I'll probably put sugar canes in it and sit it by my desk at Christmas next year. Or, or I put a hook on it so if I want to hang it up and use it as a as a Christmas stocking, I could put money in that for, for someone for Christmas or chapstick or something. But I just, but it was funny to make because usually I just make them flat and you can't put anything in them. But this little... He's a cutie, I think. I may put a bow on the front. I don't know. But I just thought it's cute. A lot of fun making little things. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, my Santa and the red thing. And you saw my pop. Well, look at this. <laughs> now, I'm not finished with it. And I don't know why, what I'm doing. I thought I was making a star. star uh, now, what is it? A snowflake? But instead, I made a star, and uh, I don't know where I'm going from this. I don't know if you can see it or not. But anyway, I don't know where I'm going from this, but I'm starting to, to build it up around here, and I'll make some points on it. Look like a great big old snowflake. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I may change my mind and end up uh, making some kind of, I don't know what I'll make out of it. I just got started, and that's what I'm doing today. Because it's raining outside. It's not too cool. Everybody's been fed. And, and I've been fed. I've eaten my meals for today. And I, uh, Daniel uh, commented today, uh, this morning, and he, <laughs> on the live, it was really neat because, you know, we were just talking back and forth and Daniel was having breakfast and Vinny and Daniel. <laughs> well, Daniel, all that videos, I don't know where, 
<laughs> it went somewhere. I don't know. I thought it was uploading. But uh, I thought didn't know that lives upload. I thought that, that when you video live on uh, YouTube, that it would just automatically put it up there. But evidently, it didn't work that way. So I don't know where the video is that we did this morning. But every time I do something, I learn something new. I think that's just the way life is. Just the way life is. I did tell the story about my first date, didn't I, this morning. <laughs> if you didn't get a chance to see it, of course you didn't. It didn't go up. And if you weren't in the room, I think it was only four people in the room. And I was happy. I was happy to have them, too. And, uh, but, yeah, <laughs> I went on my first date. And I think I was 17. Yeah, I think I was. And, uh. Because I wasn't a very pretty girl <laughs> or anything. But uh, Michael, Michael, Mike asked me out because him and Fred were friends and they wanted a double date. And Fred had got a girl that he had met in another small town. And that's what they did usually. Men went, they, the guys would go and bring, date the girls from the other high schools in different towns. <laughs> it was just the way it was. I don't know why. And anyway, I picked us up. And of course, uh, being the first date for me and Michael, the mom and dad had to take pictures of us, you know. And I, I know I really worried about having something to, to wear because, you know, back then I, I wore uh, like, oh, well, what you wear to school, basically. And uh, that was originally skirts and tops of some kind. But anyway, we we went to we went we're going to the movies and we were in the car, Fred and his girlfriend and me and Mike. And it was real quiet after a while because after we asked questions about each other, especially the new girl, you know, some information stuff about her, the conversation really dwindled. I mean, it got real quiet. We just sat in the car on the way to the theater. We we're going to the Red Theater there in Blyville. And uh, it was funny because on the way, um, Mike says, did you hear when he saw us? Well, he saw a, a silo on the side of the road. We had a lot of silos in our area where we grew up. And so that he was telling Telling us, he says, did I tell you about the man who died in that silo? Well, I had heard this story, and I'm sure Fred had, but the girl did, hadn't heard it, okay? So here goes Mike. He says, yeah, there was a guy, and, and yep, he was, he, he died in that silo. And, that, and they said that he, he went on to say, well, he was hobo, because that's what we call people, hobos. And it was raining, so he was trying to get out of the rain, the hobo was. And so he went in the silo. And he was happy in there. And I said, was there anybody else in the silo? Some other ho hobos, you know? Said, well, <laughs> I don't, I don't know if there was or not. And he says, but he died in there. And I said, oh, yeah, that's right. He died in there. And so what did, what did I ask him? I said, well, did somebody burglarize the silo and he was there and they killed him? And he says, no, he died in the silo. And the girl says, well, well I bet it was cold, too. I don't know, did, you know, was the top open or closed? Did the rain come in the silo? Because that's where you keep grain and stuff. You have to store it for the winter for, for the animals or whatever you need the grain for. <laughs> and so we just went off crazy asking questions about the hobo and what he wore and where he come from and all that. Mike was getting a little upset, but me and Fred were just egging Michael when he was so finally we, we got we said oh my he must have come from St. Louis and, and it was raining and he couldn't find a place so he went in the silo 
Oh, gosh, and then somebody killed him. How terrible that, how terrible that is, Mike said. <sighs> yes, I'm trying to tell you, I, the guy died in that sailor. <laughs> he said, well, how did he die, Mike? And Mike says, well, he was trying to find a place to do a poo-poo. And he kept going around and around in the silo, but he couldn't find a corner, and he just died. Oh, that wasn't so funny because we all knew the joke, but <laughs> but we laughed harder because he was trying to tell a joke and we were trying to deviate from the joke. <laughs> but it was funny because we laughed harder than we did at the movies. <laughs> I can't remember now what was the movie we went to see, but it must not have been too funny. <laughs> If that was funnier. <laughs> and then I was worried about, you know, am I going to get my first kiss? Or, or you know, I didn't know what was going to happen. <laughs> when we get, we did get to the movies, though. And, and uh, I got uh, popcorn, uh, soda water, and uh, uh, sugar babies. <laughs> sugar babies, yeah. Some people got popcorn, soda water, and a Snickers bar. But we like those sugar babies because you can eat a little bit at a time, you know. They seem to last longer than the Snickers. But we had a good time. We ate it all up. And we went home. We had to be home by 10. But, yes. No, he just dropped me off and said, I'll see you tomorrow at <laughs> school. And I went in the house and I said, shoot, I thought I was going to get a kiss. My first, first kiss. <laughs> well, it didn't work. But he caught up on that later on, though. <laughs> oh, if y'all saw the live of where he told this story, I don't know if it was worse or better this time. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, my first date. You remember your first date? <laughs> Do you? <laughs> Oh, I think my first kiss was from uh, a guy. What was his name? Uh, Mitchell, Mitchell something. And we were on a band trip <laughs> to St. Louis in the bus. And it was coming back late. And we were trying to keep, to keep awake because we'd all been, you know, we've had a busy day. We marched in the stadium at the, at the, some game, I don't remember now. <laughs> Maybe a football game, I don't know. We did a marching thing up there anyway. And uh, so we were all tired. And I was just laying in the seat, and he was laying in the seat. And he just, he just hauled off, and grabbed me, and kissed me, just like that. And I thought to myself, that's, that's nice. That's a good kiss, I think. But how do you compare a kiss? <laughs> Oh, well, it was just a kiss. There wasn't no tongue action or any of that stuff. Thank God. I don't know what I would have done if that happened. Because I wasn't prepared for all this dating and stuff. I had a lot to learn. <laughs> Mitchell Saliba. That's his name. Mitchell Saliba. Or what? Yeah, Mitchell Saliba. I think so. <laughs> oh, well, that's the way it was back in the back in the day. And this morning, uh, Mama Four Boys was saying, saying uh, her mother was uh, a midwife, and she rode the bicycles like the, you know, the show. She said that it's like the show that you see the midwives. I don't know if you've seen that show. I haven't, but I'm going to. And that's what her mom did. She was a midwife, and so I thought that was most interesting indeed. But anyway, 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 I'm just a, a boo-boo in here with my little, I don't know what it's going to be. Maybe it's going to be a hairnet. Oh, it might be. That might be pretty as a little hat. You know, a little summer hat. You know, like the Amish wear, they wear this little thing over their head. Or is it the Catholic? Or is it the Jew? Or is it a gypsy? I don't remember. 
Anyway, I'm going to do this for a while. Well, I don't have any really great things to say today, but uh, I'm hoping that uh, y'all have a great day. And remember, God has you in the palm of his hand. Pray for Mother Earth, the birds, the bees, the flowers, and the trees, and for each other. Because you are special. Every one of you is special. Every one of you. And if you just look at yourself in the mirror, you say, I'm still here. It's a beautiful day, and I have another day. I can do anything I want to. As soon as I go to work, wash dishes, wash clothes, take care of myself, go to the grocery store, take care of the kids, then you can do anything you want to. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.